Bremer. The crowd loves you too. You started this journey three weeks ago. You're the first qualifier to ever win a major tournament. How did you do it? First of all, I really want to congratulate Layla and her team on an incredible fortnight. I mean, she's played some incredible tennis and beaten some of the top players in the world. So it was an incredibly difficult match, but uh, I thought the level was extremely high. And um, I hope that we play each other in many more tournaments and hopefully finals. <laughs> As for the three weeks I've spent in New York, I would say that having a, such a supportive team like I have over there, my coach, Will, the physio, the LTA, my agent, everyone in that team, and everyone back home who isn't here but watching on TV, thank you so much for all your support over the years. And most of all, I would say thank you to everyone here in New York. Thank you all for making me feel so at home from my first qualifying match all the way to the final. I've loved playing in front of you, and you've really spurred me on in some very difficult moments. And I hope that me and Layla put on a good performance today. You both certainly did. You played 10 matches. You didn't drop a set. A little bit of adversity towards the end of the match. You had match points. Layla held, holds her serve. And then you had to fa face a few break points. How did you hold on to that composure? Yeah, of course. Layla's always going to play great tennis and always going to fight. That's just the competitor she is. And that's why she's here in the final. So um, I knew that I'd have to dig deep. and. I fell somehow and I thought that would throw myself off balance really because I was going to have to serve. Um, I was just praying not for a double fault but uh, <laughs> we, got, we got through it and um, I think just staying in the moment, focusing on what I had to do and my process and the mindset just really helped in those tough times. Emma, this is the youngest final we've had since 1999. What does this say about the future of women's tennis? I think it shows that the future of women's tennis and just the depth of the game right now is, is so great. Um, I think every single player in the women's draw definitely has a shot of winning the t any tournament. So uh, I hope that the next generation can follow in the steps of some of the greatest legends. For example, Billie Jean right here and uh, everyone, everyone that's <laughs> at the top of the game right now. And finally, speaking of another legend, Virginia Wade has been watching all your matches. She's here to witness. She's the last one to win a major from Great Britain. What does that mean to you? It means so much to have Virginia here and also Tim um, to have such British legends and icons for me to follow in their footsteps. Um, it really helps and uh, it definitely gave me the belief that I could actually do it. Congratulations, Emma. And now to hand you the prize money check. Are you ready for how much? $2.5 million is Andrea Lisher, head of America's client JP Morgan Asset Management. And now, Emma, the great Billie Jean King will present you with your champion trophy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 U.S. Open women's champion, Emma Raducanu.